This is the Buffer Fuzz interface from Schnobel Tone. It's an ingenious new pedal that helps counter some pesky issues with certain fuzz pedals. Before we start with the Buffer Fuzz interface, what I want to do is just use a very inexpensive Harley Benton Fuzzy Logic, which is their take on a fuzz face. And we're going to be using it with a lot of cable. So the one going from my guitar to the pedal is 20 feet long and the one going from the pedal all the way to the amp is an extra 30. So we're talking about 50 foot of cable here. And we're gonna to listen to what that does to the top end of the signal. And then we're gonna contrast that with the exact same cables, but using the buffer fuzz interface. <laughs> same riff again. This time I have the buffer fuzz interface first in the signal chain. I'm using the exact same cables so I have 50 feet of cable. I have the fuzzy logic going into the effects return of the BFI. The output of the BFI is going directly into the Fairfield circuitry of the barbershop. I'm going to be using that pedal throughout the video to simulate an overdriven amp. The other thing I want to point your attention to is the fact that the buffer fuzz interface when not instantiated is going through a class A buffer. So that means when the pedal's not turned on, you get a really nice clean signal going through the rest of the signal chain. So whether you're going directly to the amp or other pedals, you're getting a nice buffered signal. When you turn it on, the buffer is out of the circuit and all you're getting is the fuzz pedal. <laughs> interesting features of the BFI is the toggle switch at the center which simulates different cable length. So you have zero in the middle which does no cut at all. On top you have 10 which simulates a 10 foot cable and then at the bottom you have 20 which is a 20 foot length cable simulation. And the reason why you might want that is depending on the fuzz that you use you might have some harshness in the high end signal and this kind of tames some of those harsh frequencies. So let me give you an example. Right now we're starting off at zero and here is the sound. Still using the inexpensive fuzz. I'm gonna be switching it up with more boutique stuff in just a second, but just so we can hear what it does, here it is. Going on 10. Going on 20. I'm going to be doing the same thing again. This time I'm not talking. So I'm going to go 0, 10, and 20. For this example, I'm going to be using the Secret Face from Northern Effects. It's their take on the whole Sun Face type of uh, fuzz. And it's really interesting, but it is very bright and cutting. Using the Buffer Fuzz interface, I can tame some of the high end, which I do prefer to do with this particular pedal. So I'm going to show you without any cut, and then I'm going to show you the improvement that you get in the top end with this particular feature. So we're going to start with no cut.
for this example, we're using another secret face from Northern Effects. This one is basically the same circuit as the previous one. It's using the OC44 germaniums, except this particular model is voiced a bit woolier, more like a traditional fuzz face. And the high end is not as sizzly on top, so I probably wouldn't use the 20 um, foot long simulation on the BFI. So I'm probably gonna be using 10. We're gonna be listening to the contrast. And as you can see, this feature is just there in case that you are using a fuzz that needs a bit of cut or maybe a more drastic cut. So it's really dependent on the fuzz you're gonna be using. So let's try this one. As I said, it's the same circuit, just voiced a bit differently. So here's the clean signal again. <laughs> For my taste, I prefer using the 10 with this particular pedal, but as I said before, it really depends on what you're going for and it depends on the fuzz that you're using. In the following example, I'm gonna be taking the 30 foot long cable and I'm gonna plug straight into the Vox AC15. And the reason for that is that I wanna show the high end roll off that you get out of an excessively long cable like this. And then we're just gonna plug straight back into the signal chain here on the pedal board and we're gonna let the buffer fuzz interface do what it does when it's not instantiated. We're gonna let that class A buffer just feed us a really nice strong signal back into the amplifier. I'm gonna play something really simple. I'm gonna do the same riff again, but with the buffer fuzz interface. So we're starting with the long cable going straight to the amp. <laughs> For this next example, we're gonna be contrasting the nine and 18 volt mode on the buffer fuzz interface. And the reason why there's an 18 volt mode is to compensate for humbuckers, which have a much higher output. So if you need more headroom, you can use this pedal in 18 volt mode, or if you just prefer having more headroom in general, you can use it that way. I'm using the Ritual Devices Banshee, which is their take on a super fuzz. If you know anything about this particular fuzz, it doesn't have much dynamic, it is very squashed, and if you're using humbuckers on top of it, you're, you're losing even more headroom. So we're gonna start in nine volt mode, and then we're gonna be playing the same riff again, but with the 18 volt, and we're gonna be comparing them side by side. <laughs> Now that we know what this pedal can do, we're gonna be using it in a very simple setup. So first in line, I have the buffer fuzz interface. Then I have the Royce Big Bender, which is a 70s style tone bender. The output of the buffer fuzz interface is going into the Fairfield circuitry, the barbershop, and then the Fairfield is going into an EHX memory boy. And it's very simple, everything is in series. I am not using 
the tone cut on the BFI. So we're gonna keep it super simple. We're just gonna to listen to how this integrates into a simple setup like this one. Still using it in the 18 volt mode with my Gibson. <laughs> this video I also reviewed the Schnobel Tone Daily Driver if you want to watch that just click on the video appearing on screen right now and I'm going to see you in the next one cheers